Disc brake noise can both be annoying and can affect braking performance. And we're going to address some of these issues in upcoming videos. Here's our first one. Intermittent rubbing of the rotor of the disc brakes against the disc pads each wheel rotation. Let's listen closely. Usually signifies that the rotor itself may be out of true, just like a wheel can be out of true. I put a white sheet underneath the bike so we can get a good look at the rotor centered between the pads. But as I turn the wheel, we can see it's now hitting the left pad. As I turn it further, it appears to be centered. Turn it a little bit further, here it appears to be hitting the right side of the pad. And that's what makes the noise. Before you begin working on the rotor, take the bike out of the stand. Release the quick release if that's what you have on there. Make sure the wheel is completely centered in the dropouts. Tighten the quick release. If you have a through axle, make sure that it's nice, tight. Make sure the bolts that hold the rotor in place are tight. Tightening the bolts and centering the wheel may solve your problem. If not, time to see if we can true the rotor blade itself. It's important to keep the rotors free of any grease, including that from your hands. And we suggest using a nitrate or latex gloves whenever you're working on the rotor. In order to straighten or true the rotor, one can use a crescent wrench, preferably if you have one smaller, but it has a nice smooth inner surface. When you're grabbing the rotor, you're not going to leave some kind of indentations. Or you can use a park rotor truing tool. This is a DT2. It has two parts, one for fine adjustments, one for more greater adjustments of the rotor. And finally, a Sharpie a marker in order to mark the rotor and know where you are and what's hitting and be able to go back to that point, just like we use it on chewing a wheel. With your indelible marker, you can mark the rotor for future reference, staying away from the area that contacts the pads. etc. all the way around. We'll show you how to use these markings later in the video. Find yourself a good position where you can look down, sitting on a stool, at the rotor between the pads. Put the sheet down so I can see it a little bit easier. And I'm going to use my park tool and the, as I rotate the wheel I'll look for areas that appears to have some contact with the pad. right in here. So I'll move this a little bit, this area. And I'm going to gently use the tool to, or your crescent wrench, whatever you have, to gently push it away from the pad. Don't use a lot of force. Do it very gently. And continue wherever it seems to be hitting. Working your way around slowly. If it's hitting that pad, it's hitting on this side, will move the rotor. But again, easy, gentle movements until the pad, until the rotor appears to be centered between the pads all the way around. You can also use the numbering on the outside. While you're looking and listening, you can spin the wheel right about in here, right there. I'm getting a little bit of rubbing on the outside left-hand pad. This is corresponds to number six. So I'll take my straightening device, in this case the park tool, and I'll bend it just hitting on this pad, so I want to bend it away. So I'll just sight spin again. Still rubbing on number six right there. 
Again, I'm going to bend it away from the left hand pad towards the center of the wheel. And I'll keep working on that solely as well as any other points that seem to rub using light pressure until I get it trued and straightened. If the rotor is more severely bent, I can use this end, which you can see when you apply it to any part of the rotor, will give you more tor torque and allow you a greater degree of bending. I don't often use that. I try to stick when I can with the longer edge and small amounts of pressure on the rotor. Okay, let's watch and listen closely. Looks like it's centered well and I don't hear any noise. If the rotor is severely warped or bent, this method may not work. And you may have to go ahead and replace the rotor. A good subject for an upcoming video. Have you tried truing the rotors or fixing disc brake noises, problems? If you have, please comment below and let us know. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony at Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.